I want to teach you how to make some potatoes for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna talk the whole time. Um, what's up, bros? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a potato, like mashed potato recipe for you guys for Thanksgiving. Okay, okay. Sorry for the terrible lighting and audio and everything. That's what we get when we film in the kitchen, but check out the Teddy Chan cosplay. Woo! Okay, so Teddy Chan's mashed potatoes coming up. So this is all of the ingredients that you're gonna need. Okay, okay, okay. You need some potatoes. I'm using this many and I'm adding a red potato, but these are just Yukon gold potatoes. Okay, get gold potatoes or yellow potatoes of any kind, but Yukon gold's the best. Chicken bouillon, heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, I like. Um, cheese, butter, fresh chives if you can, sour cream, I'm fucking running out. And then dill, pepper, some Lowry's, or I guess salt if you don't have that. Or go get Lowry's because it's good. And then some pepper. Okay, that's what you need. And then like water and a pot and knives and shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna prep the potatoes really fast. Set this off to the side. All right, we're gonna start by chopping, chop, chop, chopping these potatoes. If you wanna skin them, you can. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this fucking car. Um, if you wanna take the skin off, you can, but I leave the skin on because I like the texture. So we're just gonna cube them. Pretty easy. Um, if you have any like big dents or anything, just cut that off. But yeah. Start with this one. You don't need to cube it that small, but the smaller you cube it, the faster it'll cook. And um, that makes life easier. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna take the chives and chop them up. Um, and what I like to do is just use some shears, make sure they're clean. But yeah, just just take some shears and uh, chop a chop the chives. I should chop the ends off first. to boil. Um, 
but we're gonna add a spoonful or two of bouillon to the water to make it yummier, okay? So just do it to taste, How add however much you want. I add like two heaping spoonfuls, but I will show you over at the stove. Okay, we are at the stove now. So you're gonna want a decent amount of water here so that all the potatoes get cooked. Um, turn that on, get it boiling. chicken stock. You can either use chicken broth, you can use bouillon, you can use this that I'm using or whatever you want. You can also use like vegetable stock or something else if you want to, but I like having chicken stock just because I feel like it's a good flavor to add. So do a big, a glop. A glop. Okay. There we go. And then, um, once this is boiling, we will add the potatoes. So I'll see you when it's boiling. <laughs> We boiling, we boiling, all right. We gonna very slowly and carefully add our potatoes. until it's a uh, fork tender. So like if you stab one with a fork, it should just fall apart, basically. That's the goal. So I will see you back here when that is done. Probably like 20 minutes or so usually is how long it takes, but usually maybe shorter because I kind of cut them tiny. So maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Who knows? We'll see how long it takes. But I will see you back here when that is done. Ho ho hooray! I can't talk. I'm getting sleepy. This is the second video I've filmed today. Yeah. But, um, here. How about I'm gonna switch over to a different angle so I can chat with you guys while this is boiling. Okay? Okay. I figured since that's boiling, I could catch up with you guys a little bit. Cause I um, haven't posted on YouTube in a little bit, <sighs> mainly because YouTube fucking demonetized my channel. I still don't know why they will not tell me they are not communicating and well, that's just kind of power of the course with YouTube, unfortunately. Even if you're like a big channel and you have like a channel liaison or whatever the fuck it's called with YouTube, like direct contact. They're still not great. So that's why I have been streaming on Fansly. So if you miss my streams, that's cause I am on Fansly. So if you wanna come watch me stream, I'll be on Fansly. But we can like watch movies and listen to music and do other stuff there that we can't do on YouTube. So it gives us more things to do anyway. So I kind of like streaming on there better, but you know, it does suck I can't stream on here. Well, I can, it's just, there's not much of a point because channel memberships are gone and I feel bad that they're fucking gone and I can't fucking do anything about it. But anyway, um, I am still streaming on Teddy Chan's account on YouTube. But other than that, uh, yeah, streams have been on Fansly. Um, I am planning to post some more like actual YouTube videos. I don't know what yet. 
but yeah, this video is going up on Fansly as well as YouTube. It's going up on both. This is going to be a little Thanksgiving bonus video for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do some more casual YouTube videos heading into December. Obviously December is like a big fucking month for content and everything. Gotta do a lot of Christmas stuff, but yeah. But yeah, it has almost been a year since I realized I was trans though. Um, actually it has been a year. It's been a year since I realized it. Um, it hasn't, it's been almost a year since I came out, but it's been a year since I realized it. And like, bro, yeah, like, I'm so much happier. Like I got my gender officially changed, like legally. Um, obviously my life had to get shuffled around a bit, but like, yeah. I'm so much more comfortable on a daily basis. And even though like I, I'm starting to get back into doing girl cosplays again. Um, it's definitely challenging. Um, yesterday was a bit more challenging. I filmed the turkey video yesterday and I was just like, dreading having to dress like a girl again. Um, I was kind of feeling the same way this morning, but it's easier with Teddy Chan because it's like fully a character. So I can like dissociate into the character a lot easier. So that makes it easier. So if I'm like looking in the, the viewfinder or something like that, um, I don't immediately want to like Minecraft myself, you know? <laughs> But yeah, made a lot of changes. Well, a lot and not that many, but I don't know. I don't, because like realistically for me, cause I'm not going for, I'm never going for like a super, super masculine transition. That's just, that's not me. Um, I say we'll just like this. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, I'm not going for like fucking doing T injections or gonna do like bottom surgery or anything like that. Like I'm not probably gonna start going to the gym more or anything because I'm <laughs> fucking lazy. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm very comfortable with my transition where it's at right now, actually. Um, I feel validated by my friends and the people around me enough that like I'm chilling. Like, yeah, obviously I get misgendered on a regular basis. Um, people just assume I'm a girl, obviously, but that's okay. I don't really care what other people think. That's never really been a thing for me. It's mostly just like how I'm internally feeling. So like, well, it just, it still sucks when I get misgendered, obviously. It's not a great feeling, but um, at least like for me, I'm mentally in a position where I can handle it a lot better than I think other people can. So I'm also living in a location where it's like, people aren't using a lot of like heavily gendered language all this fucking time. Like there's not a lot of like sir ma'am shit going on. Like I don't live in the South. Um, but like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel that. Um, cause there's like a lot of, I keep seeing discourse that I desperately try to fucking stay out of because I don't like communities. I don't like being part of them. And I just feel like they exist to <sighs> cultivate drama. And like, maybe you can get support through it, but like, I don't know, I have 
enough support on my own, I'm okay without a community. That being said, I constantly am seeing shit about fucking trans guy discourse and it's just genuinely nauseating. People that care too much about feminine trans guys, people that expect you to be super fucking macho and like alpha male shit. Um, it's obviously expected from people not in the community, but I find it interesting when it comes from people within the community, especially trans girls. I do see that a lot with trans girls say that. Interesting, I find it. Um, trans guys, a lot of the times are like, oh no, 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 I don't wanna be feminine. I, I definitely don't wanna be feminine. Like, guys, I, you could accept me, right? Cause I don't wanna be feminine at all. Me, 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 go chop some wood. Like, <laughs> I hope they picked you. <laughs> But anyway, my point is I'm much happier not being part of uh, the community, I think, because there's a lot of toxic discourse that happens. Um, I'm happy. That's why I'm happy you're not being part of any sex work community also, because the same shit fucking happens. Just nonstop insane discourse that is not productive at all. But yeah, um, I think when I first transitioned, I was seeking that bit of community out a little more, but I think I'm friends with enough trans guys who are feminine and aren't shoving their head up their fucking ass <laughs> that, um, yeah, I don't really need anyone else, which is good. It's nice. Um, it's also very nice to just remove annoying fucking people. So like, if you got blocked on one of my accounts, it's cause you said something <laughs> that annoyed the shit out of me. And, or I felt like you were a red flag waiting to fucking go off on some transphobic fucking rant. So I blocked you. And you can cry about it. You can cry about it in the comments here. You can cry about it in the comments on your fucking Twitter or whatever the fuck. But I'm gonna forget that you exist and move on with my life. Cause my life is so much better when I forget that you exist. <laughs> like, holy shit. Especially cause like, after taking a break and basically only interacting with the internet in like a non-work way. Like I only like was reading Twitter and shit or whatever the fuck. Ugh. I do not recommend. I don't know how people who don't use social media as a job spend any fucking time on it. Doom scrolling. That's just such a fucking black pill, bro. Nothing good on there. <laughs> but like when I'm using it for just work exclusively, I love it again. So definitely want to work more. Motorcycles. Definitely want to work more. Definitely just want to focus on doing that. And um, not to sound too fucking gay, but like block out the negativity. <laughs> like more just like block out the fucking bitches who are gonna be in wet fucking blanket more so is the thing that I'm doing. Um, Cause yeah, if you can't sit back and shut the fuck up, I say this in literally every video now because I feel like I have to, cause it's half the comments on some of my platforms. They went all of them though. It's just like the ones that normies are on most of the time, like fucking Instagram or Pornhub, that's the worst. Um, <laughs> but if you can't handle shutting the fuck up when I'm filming content that I want to film that I feel like myself doing, AKA boy content, 
then uh, I'm gonna block you so you can't enjoy the girl content. Oh my god, it's crazy how that works. <sighs> so, yeah, saying that before Christmas comes up and I am about to do a lot of girl content, so if I see you fucking complaining, you're gonna get blocked, so be on good behavior if you don't wanna be fucking blocked, okay? <laughs> um, what else? Other life updates. Choo, choo, choo. Oh, I have a boyfriend. I got a new boyfriend. We've been dating for like two and a half ish months now. But yeah. Yay. Um, and in case you're wondering, yes, he is gay. Cause I'm a boy. Now, unlike you bitches, he actually gets that. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm. <laughs> why am I so salty? <laughs> Probably because I haven't talked to YouTube in a while, and some of my because I haven't been on YouTube in a while. A lot of the people in my comments are just like going on to old videos and like bitching and moaning. It's just so fucking cringe to check my YouTube notifications, and it's just people like. <laughs> You fell off. Ugh. Oh my God, you cut your hair? Life is over. <laughs> when it's literally been like a fucking year and I, I, I can't get over the fact that people are still on this shit. That people are still not about it and they can't just like learn to shut the fuck up. Like I thought I was being very clear, but I guess not. I really do like this outfit though. I feel like it's a cute titty channel and I feel like I should draw it for her. Anyway, I'm gonna go check the potatoes and yeah, I'm gonna put this in the end. Should I put this in the... You know what? I'm putting this chronologically so you can hear my little rant in the middle. Um, anyway, my point was I hate all of you. Every single one of you. You all suck. Except for if I like you and then I like you. So figure it out which one is which. Should be obvious. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, I think. Potatoes, how are you doing? Can I squish you? Did you break? I feel like, I feel like, yeah, they're, I think they're ready. I'm just seeing if I can smash them up on the side. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're ready to go. Okay. So now I'm gonna drain out as much of the water as I can. now to start adding shit. So I'll start by adding an entire stick of butter. Yes, I know. Wow, it's so much. Yeah, I know. Also, you have to fucking use Kerrygold. Like, I don't know why you're using any other butter. I guess unless you cannot afford the Kerrygold, in which case, understandable carry on. I get it. Anyway, if you've cooked your potatoes well enough, you should just be able to, you know, smash around and eventually they will become mashed, okay? So we're gonna do that a bit. So I like using the wooden spoon so I can just kind of jab it. See how it's already starting to form into a mash? 
should be easy. Okay, now to add everything else. Now that there's some butter in there, <laughs> lube it up a little bit. Oops, lube it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna add some pepper. Just add with your eyeballs. I don't like adding that much pepper, so I'm not adding that much pepper, okay? I'm gonna add a lot of dill though, because dill is delicious in potatoes. Flowery is wee. Don't add too much at first. You can add more later. You want to taste it. And then some paprika. Because color, bitch. Okay. And then you're going to take your sour cream. I'm not adding that much. And then your heavy cream. No, don't ask me to measure. I will not measure. Eyeball it, bitch. Eyeball it and use your taste buds, okay? Let your taste buds guide you. Now I'm only making potatoes for two people, okay? So if you're making potatoes for a lot of people, I would like quadruple this recipe, okay? Because these potatoes are fucking delicious and they go by quickly. So <laughs> the last step is to serve it up. So meet me back at the counter and we will serve it the right way, okay? All right. This is how you're gonna serve it up, okay? I put it in a little tiny mushroom bowl, okay? I'm having a tiny serving today. Because <laughs> uh, it's not actually Thanksgiving yet. All right, first, add us some cheese. Add a little bit of cheese, okay? You can mix it in and make it melt. I'm just putting it on top, okay? Then add a little, a dimple a little plop of sour cream. Okay. Okay. And then your chives from earlier. Yeah. Add those bitches. Okay. All right. And if you want to get fancy, you can add crumbled bacon on it and make it real good. But ta-da, the mashed potatoes. Do they look yummy? Th thumbnail. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> ah! Okay, eee. all right, I'm gonna eat it now and tell you how it is. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, mushroom spoon for my mushroom bowl. I got these on Amazon, by the way. So, yeah. Mix to mix. Okay. Eat the takmas. So good, fuck. All right, well, I'm gonna go, um, demolish these potatoes. But I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you like my little <sighs> fucking ramp. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in or not. <sighs> Might just put it on Fansley. Anyway, 
No, I'll probably leave it in because I'm not a pussy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving and I will see you for Christmas content. Bye! See you in the next video.